Good morning, Middlesex. Today is Monday, May 24th, and it is day two. Today's lunch menu will be chicken patty on roll or hamburger on roll, french fries, cooked carrots, and fruit choice. Now let's throw a baseball in a very graceful ah. weather news. Thanks, Mariana. Today we'll have morning fog and, and possible rain drizzles. The high is 75 and the low is 61. Tonight will be cloudy with temperatures at 61. With a high of 82 and a low of 62. Now let's march on back to Mariana. Thank you, Grace. Now let's run the third place on over to Lindsay for some special events. Thanks, Mariana. Did you know that hummingbirds can rotate their wings in a circle? Because of this, they're the only birds that can fly forwards, backwards, up, down, and sideways. Hummingbirds are also the smallest bird and animal with the backbone in the world. They weigh less than one ounce. That's all for special events, now let's fly on back to Mariana. Thanks, Lindsay. Now let's hit a home run on over to Rowdy with some sports updates. Thanks, Mariana. In basketball, the Suns beat the Lakers 118-109. to In baseball, the Mets took over the Yankees 6-4, to with Jason Bay hitting two home runs. The Red Sox bring the Phillies 8-3. to In 10 innings, the Nationals beat the Orioles 4-3, to with Josh Willingham hitting the walk-off home run. And the Tigers swing the Dodgers 6-2. That's all for sports. Now let's wish Mrs. Einstein a wonderful birthday. I'm over to Mariana. Thank you, Robbie. Now let's pass the baseball on over to Mr. Snyder. I got it. I, oh, I dropped it. It must be on the Orioles. Rats. Hey, good morning out there, Line TV, Jimmy Jammers. Mrs. Einstein, happy 50th today or yesterday. Congratulations. My good friend Thomas Lionel here, fresh back from Europe, the continent of Europe. And you're saying, Mr. Snyder, why was he over there? Well, he missed you and he came back with you. And he was over there sampling the fine life of Italy. Thomas is going to be here the next couple days. And he is going to be sharing with you some things about his trip. If you know Thomas, our fourth grader, he was over in Italy with his family for an extended period. They got back last month. And I want to show you on the map here. If you zoom in on North America, can you do that? Okay, if you can take a look, Thomas, you want to point to Pennsylvania on there so you can see Pennsylvania right up over a little bit. There you go. And then watch what Thomas did. He went over the Atlantic Ocean and he came to the boot of Italy. So that's where he spent some time or right, right, right the continent of Europe. Thomas has a PowerPoint here he wants to share with you. Thomas, go ahead and introduce the PowerPoint. Um, Joe. You go ahead, and it's just a quick PowerPoint of uh, when I was living in Florence, Italy. And that's on the right is a Duomo, and on the left is the Baptist is the bell tower of Florence, and that's took from Piazza Le Michelangelo. And that's also again the Duomo and the bell tower from a cafe up in Florence. And that's me on the top of the Duomo, and, and that's me from Piazza Le Michelangelo. That's the Ponte Vecchio. Where is the Ponte Vecchio? The, um, it's a bridge, the, one of the most famous, famous bridges in Florence, Florence and uh, it has like lots of jewelry shops through it, and Ponte means Bridge and vecchio means old, so it's kind of like bridge old, but it means old bridge. Very good. And that's all the shops around on the Ponte Vecchio. And we we played soccer in Italy, and uh, there's this one car that's so small, we just it's so funny to look at. It can fit three people. Wow. Um, on the left is David, um, sculptured by uh, uh, Michelangelo, and on the right is uh, also a David by Dante. <coughs> and on the right, bottom and top, is uh, our friend Giovanni. He played in an Italian musical of Peter Pan. Thomas here a second. Okay, Thomas, so the boys and girls know you went with your family over to Italy. You stayed in, what was the name of the town? Florence. Florence. Okay, it's a big city in Italy. You saw some pictures today 
of Thomas's trip in Italy, you saw some buildings that may look similar to some of the buildings here, but guess what? A really, really, really old city. Thomas shared with you some very famous statues done by Michelangelo. He also got to tell you a little bit about what he did over there. You know, he didn't just stop doing some stuff that he likes. He got to play soccer. You're going to be finding out more about that this week. You saw that really cool car that Thomas was standing by. I mean, three people in that thing. He was almost as tall as that thing, if you can imagine that. Watch for more of Thomas this week. He'll be talking to you more about his trip to Italy. If you see Thomas and want to ask him more questions, I know he'd be more than glad to help you. For all of us here on Lion TV, back in America, we'll see you tomorrow, same bad time. Same bad channel. <laughs>